So we're about to start baling in this field. Here's the silage bales, or here's the silage waiting to be baled. It's a, a lay that's been down about seven years, and um, I was thinking about actually uh, plowing out this year, but because we're short of grass, I'm not going to do that because I think we need to leave it down for the heifers to graze in the autumn. So Ed's on the baler, the Mikhail baler. He's going quite fast, he's not a very heavy crop. I'm just going to walk behind this one. I think he's going to go faster than me. In fact, I'm going to wait till he comes back round and see if I can get a bale out of the back when he comes round. In the meantime, we'll have a look at the grass. So this is a sort of mostly Italian rye grass actually. And Considering it's um, been down quite a while, uh, um, this, this lay isn't too bad, but it's getting a bit patchy in places and I was sort of thinking, like I said, to get it ploughed up this autumn and maybe put a new lay in here, but because uh, it's been so dry this summer, I think maybe it's better to leave it because we'd have to plough it in about September time um, and the heifers will be out in around here till November probably. And if I lose this grass because it's been ploughed up, then I, I won't have so much grazing. And the way things have gone with the grass this year, not much grass anywhere, I think I'll probably need this field left. So it might be ploughed up next year. Anyway, Ed's going around with the Mikhail. I'm just walking across. He'll probably pop the bale out in a minute. I like said it's not a massively heavy crop. We have fertiliser on it, but we just had no rain. You can see in between the rows, Pretty brown. Um, right. Oh, he's popping a bale out now, I think. There we go. He's certainly uh, probably just wrapping, I should think. Oh, look, the back's just gone up. There's the bale. Oh. clever because he's wrapping while he goes. Let's walk over here a minute. He might even pop out where I'm standing. Boom! And he's on round for the next bale. So incidentally, I'm, you might think, why am I leaving a strip of grass around the edge? Well, like I said, we're short on grass this year in the field for the heifers to graze. So what I've done is I've just mown the middle of the field and left the bits around the edge for the... I'm gonna, once I've cleared these bales, I'm going to let the heifers in here to um, actually graze off that grass, because they just need something. It's very tight where they are now. Ooh, here we go. There we go. 